All right, we're going to open up another item from eBay. Uh, just as a side note, people ask a lot of times, how can we show our address? But our address is on all of our websites, so it's not a secret or anything. In fact, uh, if anybody wants to send us anything, go ahead. This is an item we got on eBay. You can tell from the description it's a camera. Yeah, another camera. I don't mind budgeting a couple hundred bucks every month for new cameras. So this one is... Uh, a Casio XLIM, XLIM, I don't know how to say that. Anyway, it's the EXFS10. You may ask why we wanted a new camera or why we wanted this one, and that we're going to blame on Weaponeer. If you haven't checked out his channel, uh, check it out. We just got it on the droid here, so this is the best way to see it, but does a lot of great videos, and one of the things that he does that I'm a big fan of, for sure, is the slow motion stuff. And, of course, I'm not seeing any here in the list. But, um, well, this water one is slow motion. So if you check, take out his videos, he's got a camera that can do slow motion or high-speed video. And I started researching it, and we just can't justify that one just yet. But uh, as I was researching it, I found another one that does high-speed. And as, the, as it says right here, high-speed. So let's take a look inside. Not a lot to it. I expect we've got some paperwork here. Doesn't seem like there's any CD-ROMs in there, just the book. We've got the camera. Now I wasn't sure how big this was going to be, but wow, it's not big at all. It's definitely small. I went with the gray color. I think they have it in red and blue or purple or something also. It's like we got another uh, booklet tied onto it so we can't miss it. Let's go ahead and get rid of those. That came in a sort of a styrofoam little pouch. Underneath it we have a charger. This looks like the battery charger. We've got uh, audio-visual cables, We've got the power cable, We've got the USB cable, and a strap for the hand strap or wrist strap. And that's, I think, the warning to the battery. Something else here. Oh, the battery itself, sort of on the side. Very small battery. Alright, otherwise it's just a fold-up piece of cardboard and a cardboard egg crate. So, the bottom compartment, one of the things I'm always interested in on a camera is its battery compartment and how the battery attaches. You know, on a camcorder like the one we're using, the battery is simply attached to the back. On this one, there's a door, and that's usually a weak link. Both the lock and the uh, hinges I find typically to be a trouble. Okay, so now it's unlocked and it looks like it's the same door for both the SD card and the battery. And it does look like there's a lock for the battery. Now one thing I didn't look at, because I'm not sure how much we're going to use this camera, is how much the batteries cost. So we'll have to take a look at that if we end up using this battery or this camera a lot. Couldn't tell which way it goes in. I'm guessing it goes in this way. And it sort of locks in there, so that's good. The AV port and USB port are underneath this piece of rubber. And they both use the same type of connection. So it's 30 frames per second uh, when you're taking photos, and that's in a high-speed burst. Or if you're t using the video, you get a thousand frames per second, and that's a lot. I think typical HD is 60 frames per second or something. So I'll have to double check on that. But a thousand feet frames per second, uh, hopefully, will give us some really interesting slow-motion stuff. There's a couple of other increments 
Um, I believe 210 and 420 frames per second are the other options. I'll have to uh, double check that. Let's see if it'll turn on, I guess. So the uh, power looks like it's up here. Sort of a slim button, so it's not going to get hit. We've got English, and I'm just using this on uh, intuition. And the date is 6 20. How would I do? I hit it kind of a weird way. So 26. And it's 2010 already. And I have no idea what time it is. It's 140. So now we've got our time set. Looks like it's set to triple shot. Not sure what that red light's telling us. Where's our battery? Battery looks like it's oh, it's dying. So we'll have to take it out and charge the battery, it looks like. I'm going to turn it off real quick and go grab an SD card. So taking a look at the outside's controls here. Um, pretty decent so far, just turning it on, setting the time, seemed pretty easy to deal with. I guess we might have to actually look at the instructions on this one. Seems to be a pretty nice little slim case though. Uh, the um, attachment point for the lanyard uh, seems to be pretty decent, either made out of plastic or metal, but attached to the unit pretty firmly from what I can tell. Not too bad. So I'm going to uh, take the battery out, I guess, for a while, charge it up, and then we'll take a second look at it here in a bit. Taking a look at this uh, it's Casio EX FS10 uh, high-speed camera. And uh, we had to first charge the battery with that charger, and it seems like it's good to go now. It goes in this way. Um, we're going to put in an 8 gigabyte uh, memory card SD so that we uh, can take advantage of the high speed you know, video. Now there's a lot of stuff going on. We've got a slow button, we've got that on off button, we've got a 30 something boost, then this is a, a button on top, and this is a uh, in and out for the zoom then we've got this red button we've got a switch here two buttons a circle a button in the middle two more buttons so a lot of buttons going on in my opinion I thought well this is a little more than I'm used to let's uh, see if we can't take a look at the instruction manual so here's what happened when I started looking for the instruction manual came with that box of of paperwork or a bag of paperwork. First thing, <coughs> demo movie. All right, so that's that little demo. It tells you to push this slow button, I guess, and it tells you, I don't know, to push that 30 button, I guess. So, not real sure yet how to work this thing. So we got that movie, all right. Like I say, it wasn't the best movie for me. Decided to dig into the instruction manual. All right, first off, let's take a look. English, is Spaniel, Francis. We got all these other languages. Hey, that's great. I'm glad they're uh, so international or whatever. So we've got all these different languages going on. For English, for English, we get 22 pages. Such informational stuff as. Hey, uh, how about printing images? Step one, use a professional print service. Take it to the store and give them your camera. Great instructions. Just a horrible guide. Quick start guide. Of course, we got that in a couple of languages. Let's see what we got here. Same thing. Pictures of all the buttons that don't tell you what the buttons do. Again, nothing about speeds. 
So, uh, I couldn't be uh, less enthused about the instructions here. This is a catalog, how to buy more of their stuff. How to buy accessories for this thing, but it's mostly other cameras. You got your uh, other stuff here. I don't know what's going on on the CD. I suppose maybe that'll answer all my questions. You've got your members of the Casino Tourist Warranty Network. How about this? Good instructions here, I bet, right? Okay, don't sit on it. Great. Hold it normally. Great. Uh, don't sit on it. Wait a minute. That's just in another language. Don't smash it. Don't wing it on the floor. Great instructions. So I really wanted to wing it on the floor, but the instructions said not to, so I'm going to hold off on that. Okay, well, it gave us these two little things tied to it, so those must be... Okay, right there it says 30 images a second. Okay, looks like we got something going on here because there's a lot of pages, right? It says flip here, huh? Oh, great. Great. It's a little flip book to show you what 30 images look like. What's this then? Maybe this is instructions. Oh yeah, it says 30 images. Oh. Press the slow button. Slow motion. I think it's supposed to be showing you how to do it, but really don't understand. It means I gotta figure out the camera on my own. Worst things have happened, but just kinda lame to not have the instructions available easily. Especially when they're gonna print out so much of this stuff. We'll go to quality. Quality, you've got normal, economy, and fine. I guess we'll go to fine quality. Quality for video. We have HD and standard. We'll leave it on HD. Here we go. H at high speed speed. Right now we're at 2. So we're going to go to 420. I see. That's nice. So we got 210 frames per second at 480 by 360. We've got 420 frames per second at... 224 by 168. We've got a thousand frames per second at 224 by 64. And then we've got 30 to 210 feet per second or frames per second at 480 by 360. So we got to try this thousand. So now it does say HS thousand. So screw your directions, Casio. We didn't even need them. So now let's do something cool. And I'll hit the record button. And now it's recording in a slight, in kind of a small area there. But it seems to be recording just fine. And now I'm going to bring up this match. And hold it in front. So now we'll stop recording. If I remember right, it's going to record it into API format. So now let's hit playback. And let's hit play. You can see it's sort of grainy. Pretty poor resolution, I suppose. But we'll see what happens when we get the match up there. Certainly took a while. There's the match. I'm not sure how impressive that was, but uh, we'll see what it looks like when we're looking at it straight on video. And here we are at 1,000 frames per second. The rest of the video will just show some examples from the camera at high speed. And uh, what we did is strike the match a few times. Two times here at the beginning at 1,000 frames per second, and then to compare it, one at 420. Uh, frames per second, one at 210 frames per second, and then that variable 30 to one, uh, 30 to 210 frames per second. 
Um, you can see there's a lot of action that's normally hidden at full speed and this thousand frames per second although the aspect ratio is really long and narrow in a rectangle shape uh, really gets a lot of that uh, hidden stuff that we just normally wouldn't see with our regular eyes or with a regular camera. Regular camera is running at 60 or 30 or 60 frames per second. This is 1000 frames per second. So although it's a little bit grainy, we're getting a lot of that hidden action that we normally wouldn't see. So we'd use the camera overnight now. Uh, we took it up onto the hill last night and did some shooting. Uh, we shot a semi-auto AR-15, uh, some pistols. We were trying to see if we could catch the muzzle flash at night. Uh, and then we used some lights to try to uh, get some of the actions on the semi-autos so we could slow that down. It didn't do great at night. We'll have the examples here at the end, but um, still pretty impressed with the camera overall. Now here's lighting the match with the 420 frames per second uh, setting, and you can see the aspect ratio is, I forget exactly what it is, but it's a much more square you know, shape that we're used to seeing on video. I, I think this is very similar to our uh, flip cameras not the HDs but the regular flips and again lots of hidden detail because it's slowed down so much this one is um, the 210 frames per second a little bit more visual detail a little more clarity a little more focus and still uh, some pretty neat slow motion action this is that variable 30 to 210 and I'm still playing with that setting of course the instructions weren't great so uh, still trying to figure out this one but again, some pretty neat slow motion stuff there. I suspect, you know, somebody on a skateboard or a bicycle or a kid playing or a dog running, you'd still get some real good clarity and some really neat slow motion stuff. As I mentioned, we went up on the hill last night and tried to do some low light or dark shooting, and that was pushing the camera. So we'll still have to play with that a little bit. I think we've got some pretty neat footage here, but it's not really useful. So we'll uh, keep playing with it. So far, though, overall rating for the $120 or $110, something like that, we spent on this thing shipped. Uh, it was definitely worth it. Um, seems to be a decent, just regular di uh, digital camera, but having the ability to do the slow motion or high speed stuff is really neat if you've got an application for that. So we're going to give it a big thumbs up for our first initial overview. We'll do a quick version of this review, and uh, stay tuned because we're going to. I think this camera will end up getting a lot of use. We've all come up with a lot of ideas um, with uh, how to take advantage of that high speed slow motion uh, footage. So. Hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely check out the camera if it's something you've been thinking about doing. Easy way to get into the features without paying a thousand dollars.